poets would have called the place pastoral, the day tranquil. For Leslin Stearns and her husband Norman, it was another day in a cross-country tour. But as they entered the Ozark Plateau, an ominous feeling invaded the privacy of the car. A feeling that intensified with each turn in the winding highway. There were reassurances from time to time, usually in the form of some familiar landmark. But soon these were behind them. And then it began to rain. There is a legend in these hills that when it rains and sun shines at the same time, the devil is kissing his wife. And speaking of the devil, look, Norman, an exclamation at something out of time, out of place. Then a simple request to explore another in the strange oddities that dot the roadside of a thousand highways. Oddities that beckon the traveler to stop and see. But Terra knows no time or place. And Jeopardy can hide behind gentle rain or shine. And if Norman Stearns had known what danger lay, screened by an Ozark forest, he never would have left the highway. I'd like to get this windshield You've made it worse. We're almost out of gas. We could at least have been in Los Angeles by now.
I do anything for you? Go ahead. It's hot out here. Yes, it is. I wonder if you could tell me where this road leads. It doesn't lead much anywhere, as far as I can tell. According to the map, it should take us right into Wilson National Park. Not on any map I've ever seen. You must have turned off about 10 miles too soon. Fine. We're lost. I hope you're satisfied. My name is Wayne Thomas. Can I be of any help? I don't suppose you have any spare gasoline. No, I, not really, but there's a farmhouse three or four miles up the road who might be able to give you a little supply. Would you like a drink? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Sorry to have troubled you. It's no trouble at all. I'm uh, glad to have been at help. Thank you. Are you sure you have enough gas to get there? We'll make it. What are you doing out of your cage? I might have stepped on you. You know better than that. I have a good mind to put you to bed without your supper. How'd you get out? So that's it. She left your cage door open. What can I do for you? We're almost out of gas. Have you got any? No, no, my drum's empty. The truck was due yesterday, but uh, it didn't come. Well, you must have some, a uh, little. Enough to get us back to the highway, at least. I'm sorry. The uh, truck ought to be here in a minute, though. Why don't you come inside? It's cooler. <laughs> well, we may as well. I don't suppose there's any way of knowing when the truck will get here. Nah. Where are you folks from? New York. My wife's fond of traveling by car. Unhurried excursions along the scenic byways. We were on our way to Wilson Park. We took the wrong turn. Yeah, sometimes people do that. They may end up here. But I can't keep you waiting here. Come inside. Look, can we telephone to make sure it's on its way? We're in a hurry. Come on. What's the step? Is somebody looking for you? I mean, somebody that might be worried. No, we don't know anybody out here. I, I just don't want to waste any more time. I see. I don't have a telephone. But don't worry, you'll like it here. Folks, go in the parlor. Why don't you make yourself at home? I'll have my housekeeper make some iced tea. Bella? Bella? I'm going to around whenever I need her. Pardon me.
What's the matter with you? I don't know. It's sort of strange. This house way out here. Fun and man. An eccentric. Obviously a recluse. Nothing so strange as that. Did you see his eyes? <sighs> they were like a... <gasps> Norman, I don't like this place. Well, we're stuck here, and there's nothing to do about it. Except wait. I hope this teaches you a lesson. <laughs> you know, I offered to take you to the Bahamas. But no, you insisted on no, driving I'm around. No, no, I've lived all my life in New York. I always wanted to see the rest of the country. Not just the, the big cities, but towns and villages. People that live there. I don't suppose you understand. So there you are. Hiding, are you? Get up. Oh, no. I saw them come in. I know what you're going to do, but don't make me help. Shut up. I can't stand that anymore. Shut up. I've done everything you've asked of me, everything, but not this. Bella. No! Not nothing to see them and talk to them and know what you're going to do. <laughs> you will go into that kitchen and get them something to eat and drink while I'm in that car. And you will keep your big mouth shut. Someone got it. Hurry, you like a cat. And remember, if they get scared and run away, you'll take their place. Go! Hello. I was just wondering if they made it. What do you mean? Well, they were having a little gas problem. Oh, yeah. Do you know them? Well, we sort of met up the road a little while back. Uh, I see. Is there something wrong with the car? Yeah, it won't start. Well, what seems to be the trouble? I don't know. Do you know anything about cars? Well, a little. I'll take a look at it. I've got a screwdriver in the front of my Jeep. Would you get it for me? Yeah. Get you something else? make an exception, I'm afraid. Oh, no! <gasps> there, that's better. It's like a tomb in here. 
My wife was getting nervous. I'm sure Mr. Grevy won't mind. Just for a while, we'll tell him we did it. Why did you come here? Why? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What's the matter with you? Norman, let's get out of here. We can wait in the car. Any place but in here. Is everything all right? I'm sorry I was so long, but I had some chores to do. I don't suppose that truck is here yet. No. I'm afraid we can't wait any longer. We have to be going. Where would you go? Uh, remember, Mr. Thomas? Uh, we met a young man earlier back down the road, and he offered to help us. Oh, uh, I was going to tell you about him. He was here while I was outside. What? Yes. Well, where is he? We can get a ride back with him. He's being very helpful. He's going back into town. He said he would have some gasoline sent back out to you. He's gone? Uh, yes, but he should be back soon. Oh, we can wait in the car. It's rather stuffy in here. I tell you what, if you want to go outside, why don't you let me show you my collection? Oh, well, I don't well, think... Well, why not? You're the one who was so anxious to get out of here. I wish you would. I'm rather proud of it. Come along. After all, you were the one who wanted to see some wild life. This may be the only opportunity you'll get. Come this way. Capture all of these yourself? Yeah, it's my hobby. Oh, look at his eyes. Rather a dangerous one, isn't it? Living so far from hell. In case you were bitten, I mean. No. Over the years, I've built up a resistance to their poison. Besides, these animals like me. They know I feed them. Oh. seen my prize, the best part of my collection. Let's have a look. Uh, I had better not go in. What nonsense. It won't take a minute. Will it? It'll be over before you know it.
I spent every penny I had wiring this thing from Terrace. They bypass it with a new freeway. You folks wait here and I'll go turn the lights on for the rest of the cave. What kind of place is this? Looks like someone lives here. Norman, let's get out of here, please. Let's land for heaven's sake. Oh, well, I'm gonna go back and wait in the car. Norman! Greedy. Greedy, open this door immediately. <laughs> Greedy! Come back, I'll, I'll give you whatever you want. Greedy, you won't get away with this. <laughs> Man's insane. He, he's out of his mind. I told you. I, I knew it the minute I saw him. You told me. I should never have listened to you in the first place. You and your fool notions. Traveling across country in an automobile like a couple of uh, poverty-stricken gypsies. Stopping in every white spot town we come to. Sleeping in motels, eating truck stop garbage. This room wasn't intended just for us. There have been others here. What do you suppose happened to them? How should I know? Maybe they're still here. you eat? I'm not hungry. You're wasteful. That's a sin here in the mountains, you know that. Everything is used again and again. Even when it rains, a drop of water falls from the sky and a plant catches it. An insect eats the plant and it falls prey to a lizard. The snake devours the lizard and and his blood, in turn, uh, quenches the thirst of a hawk. So you see, that little drop of water sustains life in one animal after another. You see, each animal is served by another. Each must serve his turn. A human being is not an animal. Who can tell? You can't. That's why you have no right doing the horrible things that you do. Man has a right to protect himself. Not with the lives of others. So many others. Shut up! How many have there been? How many before that? Shut up, I tell you. Just be glad I spared you. Oh, sometimes I wish you hadn't. Oh? I, I didn't mean that. Sometimes you annoy me, Bella. You make me real mad. I'm sorry. Now go in the kitchen and get some food for those folks. Oh, no. Now! By the way, take it up for three in case the other one is still alive. How long have you been here? Where is here? We're in a cave behind Mr. Greeley's zoo. Oh, yeah. I remember. Ask me, look at this. Look at, no, it was your car. Yes. He must have hit you and dragged you in here. Oh, why would he do that? Frankly, I was hoping you could tell us. Looks like we're prisoners here. We're prisoners? Oh, it's a hit on the head, but everything's a little nuts. Hey, there's a tunnel down here. It goes almost straight down. That madman must have thrown you down there while you were unconscious. It was dark. I heard voices. I, I crawled to the sound of the voices. That's all I remember. Did you see anything while you were down there? 
No, it was just dark, I think. I, I was pretty groggy. We could go down and look. Why? So we can fall and break our necks? Wait. Someone's coming. I, I brought you something to eat. That tunnel, where does it lead? The house. Cellar of the house. Oh, but Mr. Gravy keeps it locked. Where is Gravy? I want to see him at once. Well, answer me. You could both go to jail for this, you know. Norman. Norman, let me talk to her. What's your name? Bella. Bella Pittman. I'm sure all this isn't your fault, Miss Pittman. Oh, no. Oh, no, it isn't. Miss Pittman, could you please... There's never been three before. He said there'd be three. Miss Pittman, could you please tell us what this is all about? Oh, I, I, I couldn't. Can, can you help us? Is there a way out of here? Oh, I, I'd like to help you. I'd like to. Oh, but I can't. Why? Because, because then he'd let it have me. It? The thing. Oh! Oh! What? I've, I've got to go. Mrs. Pittman, could you please at least leave us the lantern? Yes, we'll need it. Please. Please. She's frightened to death, Mr. Greedy. And of the thing, whatever that is. She said Greedy would give her to it if she tried to help us. Rubbish. Obviously, she's in on it, too. In on a what? On a plot to frighten us, so they can bleed us of every cent we've got. And they account for you, Mr. Stearns, but they don't stand to make too much off an assistant professor of paleontology. You just stumbled into it because you happened to have seen us come here. Maybe, maybe so. You're not going down there. There's something down there. I want to find out what it is. You actually take this uh, thing business seriously, don't you? Well, I don't know. You may have a python or an anaconda or something. Besides, it may be a chance to get it. Look, I'll tell you one thing. That woman was genuinely scared. She was. She really was. Because I might be able to find a way out of here. There's no point in you both going with me. It's okay. Certainly not. If I find anything, I'll be right back. Down. Very much. You... What? What is it? Smaller. You see, well, it would be foolish to go any further into the cliff. Well, then you can wait here alone.
I'm going to find out where that water leads to. Please be careful. By all means, we'd hate to lose you. But I'm afraid you will if he goes down there. You once told me that you were a, uh, uh, what was the word you, uh, paleontologist. Yeah, a study of things that were old, very old. Perhaps you know of my creature. It's great and powerful. My greatest discovery. I'd like to see it. You will. Don't worry. Look, why don't you exhibit it? You exhibit the rest of your creatures. Why don't you uh, exhibit this, too? Yes. All you need is publicity, advertising. I'll pay for it. Why, why people will come from all over the world to see the uh, thing. Why, you'll be famous. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You still don't believe. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Mr. Turner. You're a very pretty woman. If you like, I might decide to take you out of here. No! Do what he says. It's, it's our only chance. Norman! Don't be a fool. You're the only one who can save us. Look, why don't you share your discovery with the world? Why don't you let us help you? Help me? You fools! First, see if you can help yourself. Damn you! Wayne! The gun! Don't let him get the gun! Keep it, Ben! Keep it! It won't do you any good! <laughs> oh, let me see. All right. Oh, you're bleeding. Let me try and stop it. Not the wind at me, though. Oh, boy. I guess you got away. And thanks to you, he isn't likely to be back. Well, at least he offered himself to say this instead of just me. Oh, I expected you to be impressed. <gasps> oh, Norm. You know, I never realized before what my value to you was. <laughs> I know you, you told me earlier today, but I didn't want to believe it. Well, now I know. I know how much I mean to you, and it isn't enough! That sounds rather final, my dear. It was meant to be. I see. I think I'll have a look below. Not very professional, but at least stop bleeding. Wayne! I think I found a way out. Come on down and have a look. What is it?
There's nothing like that for millions of years. But it, it was there. It was real. It's alive. Was it? It's impossible. So was what we saw. The only thing I've seen are drawings, fossils, prints. What it looked like was a Massasaurus, which was a kind of aquatic lizard. The most successful of its kind grew to be 40 or 50 feet tall. There were hundreds of them around here 75 million years ago. But how? I mean, I don't understand. I don't know. We, we talk a lot about suspended animation. I've heard of suspended animation. Right, the art of slowing down the aging process. Maybe through some freak of nature, it's already happened here. Hmm. What should we do? Let's go back up to the room. Okay. down there. Maybe you're changing. Maybe you're beginning to like it. Oh, no. No, I swear to you. I, I just wanted to see if... If our friends were still alive, hadn't were they? The young man. The lady. What about Sturge? Was he there? Uh, 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 I'm glad you're beginning to take an interest in these things. Because you know what'll happen oh, if I... Please. Oh, oh, please. Please don't be angry. Go to bed, Bella. It's getting late. Go on! Want some coffee? Miss Pittman brought it. She went back to get some bandages, change her dressing. <laughs> Miss Pittman? You know the significance of what you've got down there. So now you do believe. Yes. Isn't it a magnificent creature? How did you find it? Where did you? Would you really like to know? Oh, any scientist would give his life to discover something like that. Since that's what's about to happen, I'll tell you. I came here several years ago looking for gold. <laughs> And I found it, some, before it was taken from me. 
One morning I dug through to a cavern. And then I found there was something down there, something alive. I decided to make it my friend. I brought it food, cattle, sheep, and sometimes a coyote that I'd catch. And then one day, a stranger came trying to find what I had in the cave. <laughs> he found it, or rather it found him. I chose those who couldn't be traced. Those whose families and friends thought they'd been swallowed up. <laughs> That's inhuman. Inhuman? I offered to save you, didn't I? I meant what I said last night. I think you'd find life out here better than there. No. If, it, if it's Bella you're worried about. I have ways of taking care of her. <laughs> no. It's your choice. You can have a little while longer to make up your mind. <laughs> Greedy! Just for one second, try and think like a scientist. Do you realize the value of your discovery for mankind? Mankind? <laughs> what do I care about mankind? <laughs> just something I could use as a lever. Why bother? He's armed and we're not. Oh, don't you go getting discouraged, dummy. I'm counting on you to keep my spirits up. Thomas, to Thomas. I, I brought you some bandages. Oh, thanks, Miss Pitlick. Thank you. I, I heard you talking a moment ago. And I heard what he said about me. I'll help you now, if I can. Please, sit down, please. How did you get into this? Oh, I was like you once. It seems so long ago. Seems like an eternity. But really, this nightmare began just... just two years ago. It was the last day of a well-earned vacation, and the day was almost gone, and I was shopping for a place to spend the night. Only another school teacher could know what I mean by shopping, because only she would know that... that we must stretch the pennies until fall rolls around. The luxury motels are out of the question. Teachers, well, they don't have fancy credit cards and expense accounts. Suddenly, I, I found the town behind me, and, and I realized I must, I must try to make the next community. Oh, that was the biggest mistake I ever made. hard for you to believe, but he, he actually looked kind that, that first time I saw him, just like any other person. He explained that 
that there were no accommodations to be had and, and that he'd have to wait until morning to go into the nearest town for gasoline. And, well, I, I was welcome to spend the night. He said something about, uh, about looking after his children. Well, this seemed peculiar as I'd seen no sign of anyone else living in the house.
of a man I would I would later learn was a madman and who wouldn't rest until he could pull me into the twilight world with him. How oh, would he do it? By every fiendish trick he could imagine. He began by by starving me of, of food and water. Gnawing hunger was more than I could bear. Him that, that without food I, I'd die. And he said that wouldn't do because he had plans for me. And he, he then told me about the, the hatred for the highway people for bypassing his serpatorium, of, of how he was doing well until the new road isolated his place. And he said he'd fix me a good meal. And then he moved down the stairs. Well, somehow the, the thought of Finally, getting food made me able to collapse on the bed and fall asleep. With each new horrible act, he, he tried to outdo the last.
presence of mind I had left, I realized I had to escape from this madman's grasp. Now my only problem was to stay awake, as hard as it may seem. Only the promise of my freedom was able to, to overcome my exhaustion. It was like I was on a, on a treadmill in some horrible nightmare.
welts to my back. The will to live went out of my body. And I'd, I'd become one of Gravy's animals. I was afraid. I still am. It doesn't matter now. Can you get us a key for that door? Oh, no. How can we get out of here? I don't know. Do you know what he did with my Jeep? Oh, I, I think it, it, it's in the, the wrecking shed with the others. Look, I've got a blue canvas bag. It's about this big. Can you get it? I'll try. And bring it here. Oh, oh but, but what if he sees me? He won't see you. Wait, it. wait, look. Wait till it's time to feed us. Bring it there. Can yeah. you do that? Please. Please, Miss, please, please, Miss Pittman. Oh, thank you, Miss Pittman. Thank you. What's in the bag? Dynamite caps for excavating. I think I can blow this door down. woman. for dinner already? They, uh, they didn't eat this morning, so uh, I thought they might You're be hungry. You're getting very thoughtful lately, Bella. What were you doing a while ago when you were outside? Um, Mr. Thomas uh, needed some bandages for his wound, so I got him some. Is that all? Yes. You forgot the napkins. Oh. That's being thoughtful. Go. Oh, oh, you got it. Great. I I hid it until I came back. Okay, listen, I'll tell you what to do. Go back to the house, wait about wait about 30 minutes, then meet us at the car, okay? Yes. Okay, you better go now. you don't like me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when we get out of here, we may have like 30 or 40 or 70 years to find that out. What? 
What? <laughs> What's so funny? What's the matter? Right? <laughs> no. I just remember reading somewhere. A very famous woman wrote, it's very interesting being married to a paleontologist. Why? <laughs> well, because the older you get, the more interesting you become. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good life. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much charge is in this, so we better get way back in the tunnel, okay? Uh, oh, baby. So am I. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're not kidding. <laughs> Very warm in here. Let's get out of here. No, I'm so sleepy. Come on, see if you want us to go. Uh, hey, miss, what's the matter with you? What is the matter with me? Oh, it's a damn coffee. Oh. oh. the coffee. Oh, Mr. Thomas, there isn't much time. We've got to hurry. Hustler. He's taken her. He what? He's taken her to the cavern, Edgar. Oh, dynamite. There's a dynamite. Right in the bed. Here. Oh, oh, hurry, Mr. Thomas. Please let me. All right. Safe as long as you're here with me. There's still time enough to save yourself. Very little bit enough. Oh, well, shh. Your friend can't help you. Only I can do that. <laughs> so you want to die? Very well, I'll see that you do. Soon you'll be hating me to help you. And then it'll be too late. This is your last chance. What is the answer? No! 
Get back! Or I'll kill you! She's mine! <laughs> Dig. They'll dig. They won't find anything. Everything's gone. It all went. Everything went when the dynamite went. There's nothing left. Nothing! Maybe there never really was anything. You understand? Maybe there was never anything. <laughs> 